Now, let's look at key quotations that you need to bear in mind when it comes to Squealer's character, another really essential character in Animal Farm. Do bear in mind that Squealer is basically the propaganda tool that Napoleon relies on in order to really strengthen his grip on power once Snowball is kicked off the farm, okay? Now, when you think about propaganda, propaganda is simply any piece of information that's used or any kind of speaker that uses information in order to influence people to think in a certain way over another way, okay? Now, in any kind of uh, country, even a democracy, so democracy where there's free speech and people can criticize the governments, but of course also in a dictatorship where there's no free speech and people can't speak out against governments in, uh, because usually they will be killed or imprisoned. Any government relies on propaganda to make people see the government's perspective, to make them see their decision on specific things are good as opposed to being bad, okay? Now, of course, in a dictatorship where you have especially one strong man, so of course, in the case of Animal Farm, there's Napoleon, who's the one strong man, contextually relating to Stalin, there's an even heavier reliance on propaganda, okay? And contextually, Stalin relied on what uh, was called Glavlit, G-L-A, V-L-I-T, which was basically the directorate of uh, information that uh, in the USSR would basically put out lots of propaganda, you know, showing him as such a loving or caring leader in order to make a lot of Russian people see everything that he does as very good. So within the novella, uh, Squealer is a representative of this propaganda machine. Once Napoleon takes over and he starts really betraying a lot of the principles of animalism, Squealer is very, very skillful in really manipulating the animals. He's able to skip from side to side. He's able to really make them see that actually all the things that they believed was wrong, okay? And the first quotation that emphasizes this, okay, and we're going to look at word level analysis, is when it comes to how Squealer is described. He was a brilliant speaker, ellipsis. He had a way of skipping from side to side, ellipsis he could turn black into white okay and of course this is a perfect propaganda man he's able to skip from side to side he's able to really um, confuse the animals and make them you know believe yesterday it was black but today it's white and tomorrow it's black and the next day is white okay that's a very effective propaganda tool especially if you are somebody who is deliberately misleading people and of course this was the case with Napoleon, who was deliberately misleading the animals and of course betraying gradually and breaking down gradually the principles of animalism until by the end of the novella, the pigs were just as bad as the humans. They were even standing on the hind legs and they were dressed as human beings, completely betraying the main maxims and principles of four legs good, two legs bad, okay? Now, the word level analysis you want to do with this quotation is firstly, when it comes to the repetition of the uh, pronouns, the third person pronoun he, so it's repeated he, he and he. Of, co of course, this is always Orwell's way of making us focus on how important Squealer is in maintaining Napoleon's grip on power through manipulating the animal's mind. Do you remember that a dictator doesn't only rely on violence and force, he also needs to change the hearts and the minds of people in order to maintain their loyalty. And of course, this is the case for Napoleon with Squealer. He's able to manipulate the loyalty of all the animals on the farm. The other word level analysis you want to do here is when it comes to sibilance, okay? So skipping from side to side, and of course also side to side is repeated, which shows just how manipulative and how quick thinking and cunning that squealer can be. And the final word level analysis you want to do here is the oxymoron black into white, okay? This shows that Squealer was able to contradict himself, but he did so in such a way that the animals didn't even recognize that he was basically saying very contradictory things. The rules would be one way on one day and then they would be changed just on Napoleon's whims, but Squealer was able to justify it very well. Again, emphasized through the oxymoron black and white. The second quotation to focus on with Squealer's character is when he states, I trust that every animal here appreciates the sacrifice that Comrade Napoleon has made, ellipsis. And of course, this is after Snowball's been kicked out. Napoleon becomes increasingly lazy. He starts passing things that are very self-serving and they only serve the pigs. However, Squealer really emotionally manipulates the animals and he says, oh guys, please don't forget just how uh, Napoleon has worked so hard for you. Now, the word level analysis to emphasize this is firstly, alliteration, trust that and the, and of course the abstract noun sacrifice to show and to paint this idea of Napoleon being the all loving leader for all the animals. And of course, this is the complete opposite. Napoleon is a very selfish leader who only looks after himself. Now, 
the third quotation for Squealer's character is again when he discredits Snowball. So Snowball is kicked off the farm and then he now starts discrediting him and basically using him as a scapegoat for anything that goes wrong. And on top of that, he discredits Snowball's role in the Battle of the Cowshed. This is the battle where Napoleon actually didn't even fight, he disappeared. It was Snowball that was leading the charge. However, Squealer uh, discredits him, okay, and he says, As to the Battle of the Cowshed, I believe the time will come when we shall find that Snowball's part in it was greatly exaggerated. Now, the word level analysis you want to do here to show how the propaganda machine is being so effective in basically painting Napoleon as the all-loving, uh, powerful leader versus Snowball, who actually was a traitor, which is, of course, incorrect. Word level analysis you want to do here is of course sibilance shall snowball and also the adverb greatly and the verb exaggerated which really discredits snowball's character okay and of course this again happens in a lot of dictatorships truths are twisted in order to really serve the leader the final quotation with snowball and uh, obviously emphasizing just how important he is as napoleon's propaganda machine is snowball looked very sly okay and this is obviously a perfect encapsulation of Snowball's character. He's able to be very sly, very shrewd and very cunning in manipulating the animals and this is exactly what you need from a propaganda tool, okay? The word level analysis you want to do here is sibilance, squealer and sly and of course the adjective sly which shows and really encapsulates and captures squealer's character in one word. Okay, so that's it when it comes to Squealer and the word level analysis as well as the quotations you need to remember for his character.